Hello all, this video is on controlling relay board from DWIN display using bit icon variable tool instead of uh, variable icons we will be using bit icon. Here we have a 4.3 inch display 800 by 480 pixels resistive touch. On the left hand side you can see RX2, TX2 pins, TTL pins and 5 volt and ground. For controlling relay boards we use Arduino Uno. With Arduino Uno a software serial is used. Uh, RX pin D2 is connected to TX2 of DWIN, D3 TX pin is connected to RX2 and uh, digital pin 6, 7, 8 and 9 controls relay pins 1, 2, 3 and 4 as this relay board is low enable relay a low from Arduino will switch on the relay a high will switch off for power supply we use a power, common power supply board input is 12 volt DC and output we can take 5 volt ground and as well as 12 volt uh, relay board, DWIN display, Arduino, everything is uh, from this power supply. Also, we can use uh, USB to TTL. This is optional to read the hex codes generated. On the right hand side, uh, we have SD card slot. We'll be using SD card for uh, downloading the project. Let us start the DGS software. Set the resolution 800 by 480 and set the path of the uh, project add the background images we have got four background images uh, note on the naming 00 01 02 and 04 03 and 04 we have to generate the icl uh, file initially so go to setting degas and then click on icl tool add the pictures select the pictures we have got four background images and then generate icl store it as 32.icl this is very important under dwin underscore set folder of the project and then we have some icons select these icons and then generate icl store this as 42.icl so the naming is of the files for allowed up to 63.icl for 16 mb flash memory uh, dwin display now go to the first image select picture animation display and then start picture id is 0 and the end picture is 1 and rtc select as uh, 200 into 8 milliseconds so after 1.6 seconds it will land on the first image automatically now go to the second image that is 0 1 image and select the bit icon here instead of variable icon we select bit icon where all vp addresses for images are same unlike variable icon in variable icon a vp address will be different so here for first we select the vps 2000 and then click on setting set the zero bit that is the lsp bit only all other bits are disabled and then uh, select the uh, icon icon file you have to select select it as 42.icl we'll be using icon 0s and icon 1s we are not using animation so e is not used so icon 0s select as the first off image and the second 1s select as the uh, on uh, on image this is for first uh, bit icon copy this and paste it on the second relay so the uh, paste same paste it on third and fourth relay we have to change only the bits for uh, second relay set the bit one or the third relay set the bit two and the last relay set the bit three vp address is same 2000 vp address does not change and the image is also same only the bits we are changing save this and then generate and for touch uh, we will be using incremental display incremental adjustment select the incremental adjustment and to the right hand side setting give the vp as the same as that of the uh, bit icon that is vp2000 select bit and set it as zero for the first relay adjustment method is plus plus over limit is cycle step length one lower limit is zero upper limit is one these all settings are same including vp for all uh, for the other relays only the bit changes so for the second relay touch control incremental adjustment and paste it on the second relay here the vp is same 2000 select bit and now the bit is one the adjustments are same you can copy this and paste it for the third relay 
that is the second relay and the third relay and you can uh, click on data auto uploading so that the data is uploaded to the UART so for the second relay the bit is uh, 2 for the third relay bit is 3 save this and uh, for preview click on preview your preview window opens now you can click on each individual icon and you can see on off uh, icon changes for all on and off we'll be using return key code select return key code draw a box on all on at the right hand side select the data auto uploading this will enable data uploaded to the uart and scroll down to bottom set the return key code as 000f as we are using four channel relays only the last byte uh, four bits are changed and for return key code of all off is 0000 and the setting of button effect is optional you can click on set and select the wanted picture so that when you touch on the button the background image changes this is only optional now uh, the settings are over click on save and then finally click generate this will generate the touch and configuration files now go to the dwin underscore set folder so this folder you have to copy and paste it onto the SD card folder now remove the SD card switch off the power to dwin display plug in the SD card and then switch on the power the blue display downloading display appears and all the files or project files are downloaded to the display switch off the power again remove the sd card and then switch on now the project is uh, displayed on the dwin display you can touch on the images uh, first one second one third and fourth and you can touch on for all on at the bottom icon and all off so the design as per design it is working now we will be using usb to ttl device to check the hex code generated this will be very useful for writing code now tx is uh, tx goes to rx2 rx goes to tx2 ground is common this is the setting and plug on the usb to ttl to uh, your pc now open cool term software we'll be using this software to read the hex click on options set the com port and then select the baud rate as 115200 this is the standard baud rate setting of uh, dwin display and click on connect and then click view hex now from uh, dwin display touch on first icon you will get the uh, hex array 5a a5 06 a3 2000 is the vp 01 and 0001 not on the last two by uh, two bytes 03 means bits 1 and 2 are on and 07 means 1 2 and 3 are on and 0f means all icons are on so it acts as per the uh, binary code binary bits 01030707 0f and all of means 00 so this is the hex code we receive from the dwin display according to this uh, hex code we'll write the arduino code now let us see the arduino code First, we include the software serial.h header file and we define the rx pin as 2 and the tx pin as 3 and the number of relays as 4 as we are using 4 channel relays and the digital pin 6, 7, 8, 9 used to control the relays and we define a buffer array of uh, type bytes and uh, number of elements 10 and byte uh, buffer length is 0 and we define a flag as uh, bool flag as false and void setup we just start the serial.begin and my serial.begin and using the for loop we make all the uh, relay outputs uh, pins as output and we initially make it as high so that all relays are off and uh, under void uh, loop we check for the whether the serial data is available and we use the my serial dot read and assign the received hex bytes to received byte and according to up to buffer length we store the received byte and once the, all the bytes are received the flag is set to true and we use the serial dot print to print the hex bytes received 
so this uh, if condition is used so to prefix the hex bytes with zero uh, and if uh, flag is checked for uh, true we check for the buffer array index 0 for 5a and then if it is ok we check the index uh, element 4 for uh, 20 that is a vp address the our interest is the last byte 0 1 that is a last uh, now it is 0 0 0 1 so we check for the last byte and we use the for uh, loop uh, to iterate up to the number of relays and we use the relay state that is a uh, bool variable and we use the bit read function notice the usage of uh, uh, inverted bit read so the bit read function reads bit of a number the first parameter is the number from which to read and the second is uh, the which bit to read so we read each bit and accordingly use the digital write to write the relay state and finally we clear the buffer length and make the flag also we clear for the next uh, set of uh, hex code this is how the code works so let us copy this code and paste it into the Arduino IDE select the Arduino Inno board select the correct port and then click on upload now the code is uh, uploaded to Arduino board you can check uh, the DWIN display physically touch on the first icon and notice the relay board first icon the first uh, relay is on first LED is on again touch on second both the LEDs are on third third one one two three on fourth one one two three four all are on so according to the bit icons we set it is uh, switching on and off and all on means all the four relays are on all off all the relays goes to zero so according to this bit icon the relays are controlled thank you for watching